hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Certification course. In this demonstration, I'm going to help you understand how to configure initial access and multi-factor authentication for Microsoft Teams. Organizations are in a constant changing security threat environment. Employees often need to access the company resources as well as communication channels from different locations. Organizations face a challenge when protecting the company data and at the same time providing the employees with access to the workplace resources they need. Conditional access policies apply actions to users who sign into apps from their devices depending on multiple conditions. These conditions might include a user or a group membership, IP location information, device and application real-time risk detection, or Microsoft Cloud App Security information. Conditional access policy that are set for these cloud apps apply to Microsoft Teams. When a user directly signs into Microsoft Teams or any client, Microsoft Teams is supported separately as a cloud app in Azure Active Directory conditional access policies. Let me go and show you in the Azure portal where you can apply these settings for your organization. I'm on my Azure portal. On the left hand side, I am going to go to my Azure Active Directory. Under Azure Active Directory, if you scroll down to security, this is where you can find the conditional access policies. So click on Azure AD conditional access. On the conditional access policies page, you can see there are a few baseline policies available. You can click on new policy to create a new conditional access policy. The name field, I'm going to type teams policy. Under users and group, I'm going to select all users. I have an option to add all guests and external users as well. Under cloud apps is where I'm going to select Microsoft Teams. Search for Microsoft Teams. And you can select that application. And the condition is this is where you can select what sort of a condition you would like to apply. Devices, location, device state, device platform, etc. Access control is where you will either block or grant access. So I'm going to grant access, but after requiring multi factor authentication control. And after you select that, you basically can go and turn on the feature or turn off, or you can use report only. That will give you a report based on the user signing it and what response they are getting it. This is how you can set up MFA for Microsoft Teams. Now that we have learned about how to configure conditional access for Microsoft Teams, the next video, we're going to go through an overview of Teams admin roles. So we'll see you on the next one. Till then, take care.